The dustbin men, P619, stroke 4, part 1, take 1. You great buttock. You know I have a delicate skin. I bruise very easy. Sorry. Cheese and egg. I called you a great buttock. True. Uh, and you didn't seize me by the throat. Also true. And you said you were sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Bloody Fontaine, I hear you, great clod-hopping stumer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did he say, excuse me? Has he been soaking his dentures in marijuana again? He said, <laughs> sorry to me. Never. Twice. He doesn't know the pronunciation. <laughs> I've just had a frightening experience. <laughs> you just met cheese and egg, yeah? And he didn't smash your face, eh? No. He just sort of uh, smiled. Sort of bitter-like. Like he were in love with me, but knew I was promised to another. <laughs> it's like Colin Bell suddenly taking up hopscotch. <laughs> Perhaps there's been a death in the family. His wife's got a budgie and might have passed away. Well, passed away last Christmas from alcoholic poisoning. He got it tanked up during the Queen's speech. Before... <laughs> Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. Aye, aye. Four hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Cause yours. Five hundred thousand. That's it. Finished. Half a million. Pardon? Bins. Pardon? I've emptied. It's taken fourteen years, thirteen weeks, two days, and twenty minutes each day, week in and week out. Half a million. And what is half a million, my little sisters? Enough. And what is enough? He bloody no! <laughs> hey, missus, the three lads out here want to know can they have their bin back? <laughs> so does the border the Mexico way. Aren't they pathetic? Like bloody big girls. <laughs> Begin dustbins. Begin? Well, where are you going then? To the end of the rainbow. To the land where the bong tree grows. Who knows? I don't. I do. <laughs> Back emptying dustbins according to his birthright. No chance. He's dropped out. Doing his own thing. In his case, standing behind the tip, seeing if he can spit in a dustbin from 25 paces. <laughs> He's a child. He's a big ingenious at this job, is cheese and egg. A silly, obstinate child. And how, for example, do you make a silly, obstinate child wash his face if he doesn't want to? Smash it in! <laughs> <laughs> Tell him you don't want him to. Oh, yeah. Clever. 
You've taken exams, haven't you? <laughs> oh, very good. Nevertheless, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. No. Pardon? No more bins. The 500,000s was the last. Finish, final, kaput. Ongla Jerry sold that, Trey bomb. Good. Good. Wow, any human person emptying refuse for 15 years. 14 years, 13 weeks, 2 days and 20 minutes. Exactly. We're not a day off for sickness. Once, 1958, when Princess Margaret visited the depot. I stayed in bed as a mark of respect. Well, it's only to be expected. What is? Why, that you'd be uh, over the hill, or the tip, as we say in the trade. I mean, uh, slowing down, not keeping up with all the latest technological advances. Go and dangle your feet over your desk, darling. It won't work. Fourteen and a quarter years. If I'd have been a brain surgeon, I could have done half a million heart transplants in that time. <laughs> I'm not sure brain surgeons actually do heart transplants. I'd like you to accept a week's notice. Are you not really hanging up your protective clothing? Forever. No more bins. None? None. Then what, pray, are you going to be doing while you're working out your week's notice? Taking the week's holiday. That's owing to me. send us a postcard, won't you? Grow up. Sorry. I'm what they call the holiday on the continent next year. If cities in the European Cup like. I thought of going to the Isle of Levant. They've got no pants on there most of the time. Well, don't. You could have a change. <laughs> where are you going, cheese and egg? To where the rainbow ends and the land where the bong tree grows? Black Bill! Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> Well, shall we get emptying then? I might go and watch City training. Watch Malcolm Allison smack the back of the legs for swearing. I might go see the sound of music and have a kip. I'm ashamed of you two, just because we got no leader. We'll have a new leader tomorrow. Who though? Exactly. Exactly. Precisely. Number three, gang! Does John Hanson know about him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, stay there. I want you to meet the man who's going to be the leader of your gang for the next week. Whoever it is, uh, we show him who's boss right away, OK? Start as we mean to go on. Scare him bloody rigid, OK? Richard and out. Again. Roger and out. <laughs> no. No. You wouldn't. Am I uh, a correct like uh, in, 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 in assuming that like uh, you are? <laughs> right. Off we go on the first load then. Trafalgar Street and Environ. Now I usually do it in 60 minutes. Let's see if we can do it in around 43. Move! <laughs> A one glorious week. No more phone calls. No more reports to the town clerk. Back to life in the raw, where men are men. Trevelyan, welcome back. Cheese and piggy and egg. I'll send him a pigging postcard saying wish you was here. Because we're missing him. Because I want to pigging paralyse him. <laughs> right, gang. Wagons ho. Twenty to eight in the morning. Cheese and egg will just be turning over.
Longer than your mother's been watching Coronation Street. Well, still me. Put it I another way. Who's in the best position to judge? It's still Put me. Put it I... another way. Do as you're told. <laughs> Good. Right. Back into the breach. The uh... the entry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Oh. Should you have lifted a tire? No. It's sickening to watch. Shut your eyes then. Heavy breathing. <laughs> a normal man walking briskly but with dignity can get up that entry and back in one minute. It's taken you 17, and you come back looking 10 years older than when you left. <laughs> I wonder if there was any rhyme or reason for it. I often wonder the same. <laughs> Is that how you lift a refuse receptacle? On the return trip, yeah. <laughs> and is that lipstick on your name? <laughs> Where's my name? <laughs> your neck. Look, if you want a divorce, just say so. And what might you want before? Give him traffic signals, sort of. <laughs> A soldier on. I was a lance corporal in the war, you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> we had a feeling. <laughs> I know. Well, I got up too late for breakfast. In the digs, like. Keep you busy, are you? Where do you go for your holidays? Listen, Lulu. There's a lot of people in this town gone to a lot of trouble for you. They build bingo halls, dance halls, and boozes. They're not open yet. A pleasure beach, a zoo, even a tower with a bloody flag on top. <laughs> the sand, sea, candy floss. 
notes it for fresh air and fun. Want to talk to like? You get a bit lonely, you know, uh, on your Todd. Not well, until Yates is open. I'm just passing the time of day, like. Yeah, when well, it's quarter to eleven. So pass off. Bloody <laughs> tourist. Don't get paws down. <laughs> My grandma's representing Pakistan in next year's Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Singing Lily the Pink. You are? Wearing a diver's helmet and boxing gloves. But what are you talking about? Skiving pig. <laughs> uh, uh, I suppose... Uh, I suppose it wouldn't be time for tea break by any stretch of the... Uh, oh, not that I want it to be mine. No, for heavens, no. Certainly not. Uh, oh, uh, not for another three quarters of an hour yet. Or an hour. Or roughly three quarters. Or exactly an hour. Good. Right, yes. Well, on we go then. On, on, on. You must have a more crucifying love life than me. <laughs> Look, yeah. Mate. There must be 10,000 golden opportunities on the Golden Mile, all wiggling about in the bikinis. There must be one you'd fancy more than me. Can I tell you something? Without causing offence... I wouldn't lay odds. You're doing it wrong. Doing what wrong? Your job. <laughs> but, yeah. You... Do you know any other good jokes? Only I'm in the trade as well. Fourteen years, thirteen weeks, two days and twenty minutes, approximately. How many bins have you emptied? Well, you should know. You've been watching us all morning. In your <laughs> entire career. Why? Who's counting? Uh, you seem to have mastered the practice nicely, but you're a bit, uh, on theory. Oh, are we? I'll explain. Uh, don't bother. You're giving yourself a lot of trouble. Uh, correction. Pussycat. <laughs> you're giving yourself a lot of trouble. Now, lads. Oh! <laughs> you always drive at 90 miles an hour with a handbrake on. Except when you're going round corners when you drive at 90 miles an hour with it off. I've been driving 10 years and never had a ticket. For a license. <laughs> right. You men carry on as instructed. I'm afraid that I, uh, unfortunately, have to get on with my office work. Uh, alas, uh, as luck would have it, I'm sorry to say. Uh, well, uh, much as I'd prefer to be with you, of course. Right. Well, this afternoon, perhaps. I hope. Hope and pray. Right now, just carry on as best you can without me. Send him a telegram. He's only over there. Cheese and egg. Come on, all is forgiven. They'd feed it to the pig and seagulls. We could go and get him by bloody helicopter. In the wagon. We'll be on Central Prom in an hour. Why, well, he's giving his notice in, though. We're stuck with Mr. Bloody Delilah till we die. How do you make a child wash its face if it doesn't want to? Hang on. Tell him you don't want him to. Pass me another. Rub it in muck. Well, it didn't work when bloody Delilah tried it. Sweetheart, I'm a football fan. I fight muckier than most.
I still don't think we should have left the Blackpool wagon in the middle of that turnip field. And I still don't understand what you lot were doing going to Blackpool. I told you. It was so gushy without you. We finished early. We were going on our trips every night. Southport, Morecambe, Bournemouth. It was belting without you. Belting. Bloody belting. How was your holiday, cheese and egg? I told you, belting. Everything was. Weather, digs, beer. Black eyes. <laughs> yes, well, uh, some bird's husband. I forget his name. Uh, nice lad. If it was so belting, what are you doing back here, then? I have a responsibility to my public, you great buttock, and there's such a thing as January trade figures. And you lot can't have been doing your job properly if you were swanning off to Tenerife every bloody afternoon. Well, you didn't know that. I did. How? Oh. You just told me. Oh. Yeah, but that was after it. Oh. Belting, all of it. And you never thought about dustbins? Not once. Or us? Even less. And it was belting without me? Belting. So was my holiday. What? Belting. Oh. So was work without you. So was my holiday. At ease. <laughs> I've checked with vehicle maintenance. They still say you used an extra 50 miles worth of petrol yesterday. Ignore them, sir. They don't understand these things. They haven't got your diplomas. <laughs> right, 20 to 8. Wagons home. Welcome back, Pity. I wish I'd stayed in Blackpool. We do. I do. Oh, how I envy you, lads. The open air, the good, honest toil. Still... One has to make sacrifices, I suppose. Somebody has to stay behind and uh, get through all this lot. <laughs> There's nothing bloody there. Move! <laughs> yeah, great buttock! You know a bruise easy. True. Have another one to match. <laughs> I think he's himself again. I know for certain when he covers me once. <laughs> Just like bloody big girls. <laughs>